Hi there and welcome to uh, the next in our line of Coffee Geek instructional videos and actually this is the first one in high definition. Uh, today we're actually going to be showing you an exposed extraction from uh, an espresso machine. Uh, an exposed extraction uses a chop portafilter that shows you the bottom of the filter basket. And what we're going to do here as the shot develops on this machine is I'm going to explain to you um, what you should be seeing when you're doing an, uh, an espresso extraction this way. What are the good signs? What are the bad signs? Hopefully we won't see any of the bad signs because I've prepared coffee correctly here. So I do have my coffee ground ready to go. I ground it literally a second or two before I start the video. I'm going to load it right into the Speedster espresso machine right away. Now the Speedster has a pre-infusion mode, which we're going to see in action here. Not every espresso machine has this. But what we're going to do is I'm going to drop it right down now into pre-infusion. Now the pre-infusion takes about four or five seconds and you're actually going to see some coffee form on that filter basket. As soon as we see that, we're going to drop it over to, there it is right there, the brew position where the pump takes over. Now you see the shot developing. There's a couple of streams now that join to a middle. And what you really want to see is the stream to stay in the middle of that filter basket as much as possible. You don't want to dance around too much. And the reason why is that when it's in the middle, it means the extraction is really even uh, and your puck and preparation method is really even. Okay, we're gonna kill the shot now. And um, yeah, like when you're packing the puck, the more even you are with your dose, your tamp, uh, everything else, the more sort of even the overall extraction is and therefore that cone that you saw will stay in the center of the filter basket. If it's dancing around left and right and center, there's a problem with your distribution of grounds inside your portafilter and possibly a problem with your tamping. You saw there when I killed the, when I stopped the shot, I turned the pump off. Uh, the back pressure was relieved almost immediately from uh, the portafilter. And what that does is it kind of uh, evacuates all the water from inside the portafilter back through the machine and flushes it out. And you sort of saw the little bubbling there at the end. That's perfectly normal. So there you go. In a exposed extraction, or as some people in the business call it, a naked extraction or a chopped portafilter extraction on a uh, Speedster espresso machine.